Welcome to part five as we work towards finding the volume of the gas tank. Now let's mirror the tank. So we'll use the transform mirror and the tip says to select the items to mirror and then select the mirroring plane or item. The items to mirror will be the body and that will be the body. The mirroring plane or item, I can select this plane or this face. So in this case, I'm just going to select the plane. Shaper 3D shows me the preview. I click done. Let's turn off those edge display again because it's getting distracting. I've got two bodies now and I really, I really want this to be a single body. I'm going to go to tools, union, select the two bodies and click done. Now there's a couple of things that have happened. You notice first of all there's only a single body now. Second, the line that joined these two parts is gone because this face should be the same on both sides so when the two sides are joined the line goes away. And that's true all the way around the part. So we have now a single body. Here's another tool that we haven't used before this is the measure tool. The measure tool allows you to do point-to-point -point measurements. So we can select an edge and see how long that edge is or select multiple edges and see what the combined length is. Um, we could also do point-to-point -point measurements. So we'd measure from here to here and the software gives us a linear distance. But you can also select an entire body and Shaper 3D will give you some statistics for that body. And one is the surface area. In case you need to paint something or coat it, you'll know how much surface area needs to be covered. And a volume. In this case, we want to fill the tank with gas. And so we have 781 cubic inches available for gas. And a little bit of research shows you that 231 cubic inches is equal to one gallon. So in this case, we have a little bit over three gallons of gas that go into this tank, minus, of course, the thickness of the tank. So that's what we're going to deal with next, is shelling this out. And of course, we're going to have to put a gas filler neck on it. Let's see how to do that. A gas filler neck is going to be a circular opening right in the top. How would we create that? One way would be to use a couple of extrusions, or we could make a revolve much more easily. A gas filler neck isn't necessarily going to line up with the XYZ axes in the model. We might have to create some sort of a reference plane, but we could shorten that process by using a revolve. Let's go about it this way. I need to select a plane that will show up in the middle of the model. So I'm going to actually turn off this body in order to do this. I'll open a sketch on the left plane and I can turn the body back on so I can see it for reference. And now I can draw in a center line and just to keep our example of not being lined up with the world coordinates. Let's make this a little bit off kilter. So we'll put this line in here at an angle and then we'll continue and we'll get a perpendicular line from that and a perpendicular line from this. And we'll keep getting perpendicular lines until we're down here inside the volume of the tank and it doesn't really matter because this is going to merge. All right, now we, we're going to put in some dimensions. This dimension will be the radius of the filler. So I'll make it two inches. This lip is gonna be a return in here and we'll make this 0.375. And this distance doesn't really matter. So we'll just make it whatever it is. And well, let's, add another distance in here, 0.5, and pull this line down slightly. 
Okay, now we want to do create a revolve. So we'll exit the sketch, tools, revolve, or remember the shortcut V. We'll select this area and also, and then the axis we want to use is part of the sketch. And we'll just make this. Let's revolve the view so we can see what's going on. And we'll click OK or Done. Now to find this feature in the history tree, since our tree is getting quite long, we can just select on the feature and it should pop up here in the tree. Now you'll notice that this has produced a second body, which really wasn't our intention. And the feature itself doesn't give an option to merge this result with the main body. So let's go back to the tools, union, select body two and shift select body one. Click done and we should have again a single body. We can go ahead and add some fillets to this. I want to select this under edge and also select this top edge at the same time and we can pull these out to make a small radius value there. Make another fillet on this edge that can be a little bit bigger. From here I want to add another feature. And this will be the shell feature. Hotkey H. Faces to remove going to be this top face. Everything is going to be the same thickness. So I'll grab this and drag it out slightly and I'll key in point one. Thank you for watching part five, and in part six, we'll finally determine the full volume of gas that can go in this motorcycle's gas tank. Thanks for watching.